Guys, I just want to say straight before the video starts, thank you so much for subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm loving that you love my content. Okay, I'm Sister Cerise. Thank you so much for joining me. This video is clearly on R. Kelly. Now, the reason why I wanted to do a video on him is because I really wanted to see if he's guilty. You know, I love R. Kelly. Some of you guys might be like, why? Well, I really love his music and that one song, Sadie, about his mom. I love it. And um, just it's really just the song, Sadie, his slow songs. Um, but he does have a nasty side to him, you know, like a side where we do have to lift our eyebrows, especially when it came to Aaliyah, you know what I'm saying? So I wanted to pull cards to see if he really was keeping, harboring girls against their will in his house. So let's just look at the past of his personality when it just came to women. So women were always very important to him. He celebrated the woman, her body, the way she looks, the way she speaks, and also what she can offer him and what he could offer her. Let's look at his personality as the years went on and as he became more famous. So he did change. He changed a little bit. He started to feel like he was ready for the world, always looking for pleasure and satisfaction. He was lo always looking pretty much for the next best thing. Let's see how he was in the last few years. Okay, so he was trying to unite with a better way of living. He was trying to change. He was looking more at the emotional side of life, most likely because of what he was going through and the threat of him being charged and quite possibly looking at jail time. And so he was really trying hard to change his life. He was trying to look at women differently. He was trying to respect them differently. He was attempting to be more sincere. Let's pull three cards on whether or not he's guilty. Number one card. Number two card. What's going to happen to him and his career? And number three, how will he be in the future? Here we go. So let's look at if he was guilty. That same card. He definitely was guilty of being um, sexual with the women. Now, how he's going to be with his career, that second card that I just pulled, that is pretty much him pulling away from his career, disconnecting from people, feeling like his fans did not support him, and feeling like a lot of other people did not support him. He's going to disconnect and reflect on his life. Let's look at the future when it comes to him. Okay, so within six months to six seasons, now, six seasons would be a year and a half, roughly. So within the next six months to a year and a half, he's going to change. He's going to understand that some of the things that he did do were not very cool to women. He's going to see that his desires and his taste for that type of a lifestyle was not reflecting very well on young women that deserved to be treated with respect and taught from an older man how to treat themselves and how they should be treated. He is guilty of desiring women beyond a healthy way to desire them. Is he the only one? No. There are a lot of them out there. A lot of men like him. The reason why he got caught clearly is because he's famous. He got caught. 
and he didn't get caught just once. He got caught a few times. Now, I do want to pull a card on whether or not his personal assistant was lying for him. I just want to pull three cards on her in general. I want to pull on her personality. Did she know more? And how does she feel now? So let's look at her personality. Well, she's the type of person that is about business. So that's what she was with him, completely business. She wasn't trying to get those women for him. She just let him live his life and didn't judge him. Let's look at how she feels about things right now when it comes to him. She has two ways of looking at it. One, she does feel like, yes, he was messing with some young girls. And at certain times, it was inappropriate. And yes, she did know more than what she spoke about. She did know more than what she said. Most likely, we don't know. We can only speculate. Probably because she knows how she would be reflected in society. She knows that if she was to say, oh yeah, you know, I was helping him out a few times. She knows for sure people would not like it at all. And they would judge her. So perhaps she felt by being quiet and not telling as much, she will also seem innocent. Now, of course, we know all types of assistants around the world, people who are managers, assistants, and they, they especially people who help the stars, the famous people, sometimes they are required to do things that are above and beyond. And sometimes they do it thinking that their boss is okay to do things that other human beings are not okay to do. And the reason why is because most famous people are untouchable. So a lot of people that work with the famous people, at times they forget ethics and morals because they realize that the strange appetite of famous people, some famous people, is just part of their creativity. Let's look at how she feels right now. Well, she is happy that she's not in trouble. And she is happy that she got away with whatever, knowing whatever. And she did try to protect him to a certain extent. Does she know everything that went on behind the closed doors? Absolutely not. But she does know a lot more than what she fessed up to. Is she a bad person? That's not for us to judge. At the end of the day, again, she was doing her job. But it is what it is. Our Kelly is guilty of what he was doing to those girls in the bedroom. He was minimizing their worth and he was taking advantage of their innocence, taking advantage of them. Some people may say those girls aren't innocent. You know, what were they doing that young at his house anyway? They were lost. They were young. They didn't know better. And they needed someone older like him to help guide them. But R. Kelly can't. He's not even mature himself. He never did learn how to read. So he is illiterate. And he never focused on education. He just focused on money and pleasure. So guys, when you live like a beast and you have a lifestyle like a beast and you don't pay attention to your mind and your soul and you're only giving in to the desires of your body, things happen. And now, you know, there's an old saying in the Bible that says, those who don't hear must feel. So now he's feeling and let's see what happens. We're going to do an update in the future, but for now, this is what the cards are saying. Thank you so much for joining me. This is for entertainment purposes. And guys, if you have any reading suggestions, let me know. Comment down below. I do daily horoscopes as well. So if you're interested in getting a birthday shout out, please let me know. I will give you a birthday shout out. If it's your family or friend, 
make sure you put their name, your name, so I can let them say that you're saying happy birthday and also their birth date. Thank you. Don't forget to subscribe. Take care, everyone. Huge hugs, loads of love, big blesses.